video is brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes. And sponsored by FatalGrips.com. Use the code BUCKS to get 10% off controller grips, cases, and much, much more. Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here. Welcome to another episode of the Newcastle Career Mode in FIFA 16. Today we're going to be running just a bit of a shorter episode. We're going to be playing two games and simulating two games just to uh, advance that still at the same pace, but just trimming down on the uh, actual length of the video because I do have places to be. I've got only so much time to put this together as well. So we're going to be trialing a slightly shorter format video. I'm personally a really, really big fan of just that little bit above 20 minutes, just not too far, not any, you know, not getting too far toward a half hour video, but about a 20 minute video I find is nearly the perfect length. This might still be about that length, maybe about a couple of minutes uh, shorter, but either way, we'll find out. The games today are Everton, Manchester City, that's going to be a big one. In fact, those two are probably the biggest games that we have, but then again, we do have, of course, in March, the very first day, March 1, a replay in the FA Cup against Aston Villa. We did simulate this game, I believe, and it was like a 2-2 draw or a 1-1 draw. It was definitely a draw, and now we have to do the replay, and this game is going to be at home. I'm thinking we're probably just going to play Premier League games today, so we'll probably sim this first game against Everton. This is what I'm thinking. Sim the first game against Everton, even though it is away. I just, I'd have so many stuff players because we played a shitload of games in a row recently. I'll play the Manchester City game. We'll sim this replay again, hope for the best. And this is going to be at home as well, so hopefully they'll be a bit better. And then we'll play the easier game against uh, AFC Bournemouth and hopefully end it on a high. So against my better judgment, I am going to do it. I'm going to simulate the away game against Everton. Not doing crazy, but definitely doing all right. Is it going to pay off for me? It is. It's going to be a 1-0 win. By now, I've scored the goal. It's 1-0. That's beautiful. All right, we kept the clean sheet. No injuries. Everything looks sweet. Fantastic. Our next game is still four days away, which means we're still almost guaranteed to have a few players a little bit tired. But the thing is, when you simulate a game, you tend to have players that are a little bit... Uh, they're not as tired as when you play a game, probably because you're not just getting them sprinting all the goddamn time. So I'm just going to advance to this next game then against Manchester City, and I don't think anything's going to happen. We can't play or train anyone. We're just going to go straight into the next game. In terms of stamina, you know, we're actually looking pretty good. There's a few players that are a little bit tired, but nobody really that's below 80%. I mean, we can play a strong starting 11, our entire starting 11, because no one's, you know, at that point where it's probably smart for me to take them off. No, I'm going to give a start to all of my strongest players. I think every game from here on out is also going to be a home game too. So the cup game, the replay, and the game against Bournemouth all played at St. James, so that's beautiful. Let's just see how we go. They are second on the table right now. They're a good 11, 12 points ahead. This could be really good if we want to try to challenge to get in the top four. If we make it into the top four, it would be absolutely insane and brilliant. There's a big gap between where we are right now, fifth and fourth position. I think about eight, eight or so points. It's a fair few. So we got to get it going. We're in March or approaching March. Time's running out. Let's go. Manchester City obviously known for making some pretty crazy signings in career mode. And I think I saw Edinson Cavani. And they've also got who? Facey. I'm trying to think who else. Can't see too many others. The bench. They've got obviously a lot of great players on there. Uh, they've got Sergio. Of course, Aguero. Bunch of other great players. But Cavani starting up forward. That'll be interesting. They do not mind buying a striker or two, Manchester City. But Mangala. I think he's already played a game against Manchester City. But again, facing his former team. Strength to strength. We've allowed the... Okay, we have the best defensive record in the Premier League now. And they've scored the most. So this is going to be it then. Here we go. This should be a ripping contest. Let's hope for a good game. Here we go. Yeah, working it right up the middle. That's fine. We're going to keep on moving it this way because, hey, we got the players. They're all lined up. This is beautiful. Ezekiel trying to make the run. He can't do it. Get it to him. Still moving. This is unbelievable how we still have possession and we're not offside yet. Suzuko. What a cross. What a volley. Oh, it's just wide. I can't believe we kept possession and we were all onside there. I thought that last ball into Suzuko, he would have been off. But nearly by an Adam with an immaculate volley. Quick one, hold it, hold it, hold it. Overlapping run, yeah, held it up well. Held it up beautifully. Willems will run in here. Is he allowed to go all the way? He's kept it in beautifully. Face, he gets there. Still going, Willems. Slight tackle in the box, shit. Oh my God, how'd that happen? I went in for the... <laughs> how did that happen? I went in across and I went in for the slide tackle. I swear I had the ball. Ezekiel, all oh, this space, got to get it to him. And we have, he's away, he's beyond. He's got to get through, he's got to go. I'm going to have to power this. Bang. Oh, it's a big save, but it's Perez! How has he missed the header? You're kidding me, there's a foul in there anyway. They get the advantage, they're getting the help from the ref as well. Good tackle, Suzuko. That's out again. This, uh, this half is going to end nil-nil. It staggers me how some of the halves in this game can somehow end nil-nil. Like, they have the nerve to not have at least one goal. I mean, we've been pumping them. Even Man City have gotten in a couple of great counter-attacks. How the hell this game, or how this half, is going to end nil-nil is beyond me. We might have one final attack, potentially, by Adam. Heavier touch. Up the middle. Nah, we're not even going to get it. We were looking good there for a second, too. Shit. All right. This is another nil-nil half. It staggers me. How could we not score a goal there? Incredible. 
All I've got to say is if we keep it up, surely we're bound to score a goal. I mean, the chance is going to come. The out-and-out -out clear-cut chance, it's got to come. Tackle, Tierley man's big, huge. Fucking star, Sterling. Keep battling. They keep losing. There's a foul in there. Bet you it's on us. Bet you. No, it isn't. Oh, wow, we actually got a favour from the ref. I'll just get it out a bit wider. That could be on. That could be big. It's saved by Carvalero. I didn't get a lot of power on it anyway, to be fair. Uh, I thought it was going for the top. I thought I was I was going for the top right-hand corner. I was ended up hitting it much, much lower than I thought. Oh, Tilly means he's run through. He's got the good run. And up he goes as he kills. What's with the through balls in the game today? We've had three very overhit through balls when we were really fucking on. On for some really good counter-attacks. Yes, huge, big tackle, big time, big time. Oh, yes, it's 1 0. Jose Perez, he's got it. Tilly Mans with the big tackle, and it started the counter attack in their own damn third, and it's 1 0. Beautiful. I just sort of detected the passes, I knew where they were going, and he was not aware. Tilly Mans with a huge tackle got crunched and then smashes it straight to Perez, and he has just easily placed that in the side, right near the right at the near post, and Carvalero. Nah, no way he was saving that. Beautiful placement. It may have been at the perfect height for him to save it, but we've got it. It's 1-0, 15 minutes left to go. Let's get back down and balance. Oh, they're looking good now. You know that you know they're gonna go for it. That's a big intercept, two to be fair, from Mangala. And we could be away for another counter-attack. Bon Adam is being chased, laid off out wider. We got Suzoko now. Run. Go Suzoko. Kick it forward. Any options? Yeah, we got one. We got one. Can he get there? No, you're kidding me. It didn't even it, I swear it didn't even pick him. It did not even pick him. Perez. No, that ball didn't get there too, and now they're away on the counter. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Just wait for him. Go, fucking Ezekiel. Go. you got your 90-odd pace. You've got to go. Finally, he's away. Finally, it looks like we might be on for a dead set chance. At goal, it's Ezekiel who's finished it. It's 2-0. There you go. We have wrapped up this game. We have beaten Manchester City. For a second, I was like, oh my god, Emo Ezekiel, you were busting it. You were not busting a gut. He was just slowly jogging where all the defenders were just running back. I was spamming RB like, get the fuck back, man. And finally, or finally, he started going, and it's 2-0. No losing the game from here. Nice ball, Perez. Get away. This could be three. It could be three. He's going to hit it across his body. It's been saved. In comes Suzuko. Just launch it, man. Just launch it. It's another big save. We're not even going to get another counter-attack. We're not even going to get a throw-in. Are you kidding me? We wanted three, mate. We probably should have had three. That's all right, though. We'll take a 2-0 win. Huge win against second place. Maybe not anymore. Manchester City. A big, big win. It's probably not going to see us go in the top four, but it's definitely going to see us catch up. Huge, huge win. There was no way that this game was not ending with a few goals. I mean, it was just so open play. Very few mistakes. There were obviously a few, but very, very few mistakes. It was fantastic. For FIFA 16, I was quite happy with how that game went. It was just really attacking, really good movement. Manchester City, obviously being one of the better teams in career mode and one of the better teams in the Premier League, you expect them not to just sit back, be super, super patient with it, almost too patient, and then get an attack every now and again. No, they were going for it. We were going for it. Great fucking game. Loved it. And now we're going to do some more player training. We've got Aaron who's at 75. And both Ezekiel, Ezekiel. I'm just, I, I just got. I've got two different fucking sayings for it. I'm sorry. Either way, we're going to simulate once again. This is the same set of drills and the same plays that we've been doing for the whole for a while now. We have got a bunch of attributes that have gone up right there, both to both Ezekiel and Aaron's. And so far, oh my god, Imo, you're so so close to 76. This next game as well is going to be the round five replay in the FA Cup against Aston Villa. Already sim the first game. That was a, oh, this one's going to be oh no. So this one's going to be away. Ooh, that raises the question. Do I do it? Do I? Oh, we've already seen one away game. Do we do it again? I've had to go in and make a couple of changes, unfortunately. And uh, this is going to be a pretty rotated team. We've got Aaronson, Toban, left mid, right mid. Sissoko moved to center, attack mid. Look to see him getting replaced. Ezekiel as well, who will almost definitely be substituted at some point, maybe even at halftime. And then um, you've got the back four. They've got Kolachini in, Haidara in, and Mitrovic is going to be starting up front ahead or, of, or alongside Ezekiel. Will it be enough? Hopefully it should be enough. I was under the impression that this game was going to be played at St. James. If it was, I guarantee you I would have simmed it. But because it's a replay and because it's away, not taking any chances, we're playing the game. It will be the last game that we played today and then we will simulate that match against Bournemouth and then we'll be done. So here we go. Aston Villa's team, I'm trying to think, is it rotated? Have they gone all out in this cup final? Or in this cup final? Not yet, in this cup game. Have they gone all out? It looks like they're playing an okay team. Joe Cole's still at Aston Villa. That's a bit interesting. And I'm thinking of a couple of other players that are starting as well that maybe aren't usual starting 11 players. I haven't been able to spot too many, but as for us, we're playing, uh, to be fair, and also very rotated team, but that is more than likely down to the lack of stamina that most of our starting 11 players have. 
I still rate the team that we put out there, though. We definitely have a lot of very tired players out there, and I've got to keep my eye open for that. So uh, hopefully we'll remember to do substitutions this time because I actually forgot to do it in the last game. Oh, love your work. Love your work. Love your touches. This is okay. We still got it somehow. Amazing work how we still got this. Cross. That wasn't great. Callback. Touch. Shot. Strike. Callback with a fucking miss. How could you make that? It wasn't even the player I was going for with the cross, but somehow he's put that off target. Ginger Pirlo, my fucking ass right now, mate. Are you kidding me? This is okay. Get away. Oh, he's beyond Sanchez. Sanchez is not working very hard right now. I've got Mitrovic. This is not the guy I want on it at all. And they fucking know it because they've surrounded him right now. Three odd, three odd players. Colback can't run by. I thought I had the angles right. Apparently not. And now they've got a big space. Holy shit, look at this. Colaccini flat-footed. And he's missed it. Thank God. Colaccini went nowhere. Nice little toe poke. Beautiful. Look at this. Beautiful. Haidara who's going on a run. And a low shot. That was maybe on target. I think it would have hit the post. But he got a shot off. Forced to save. And now we have a corner. Got to take it quick. Can't go too far back or we'll probably get called. Haidara. Take on a few. Take on him. Take him on. Need the support up the middle. There it is. Mitrovic. Go for the shot. You are the man. He's missed it. Mitrovic. Score a fucking goal. Just do it. And half time. We had Mitrovic had a really good chance. Idara had a really good chance, but sadly, none of them are very good goal scorers, are they? They're just not really, that's not what they do, are they? Mitrovic doesn't really do anything. He just sort of stands there. He's just the big guy intimidating that just talks shit about the defenders behind their back. He doesn't actually do anything else apart from that. God forbid the guy that you play at the most advanced attacking position on the pitch would fucking score a goal for you every now and again. I keep getting him chance after chance, but no, nothing. Big tackle, huge from Mangala. The slide tackle in the box. Dangerous, but effective. Colback, get on a run. Fucking Colback! I swear I'm going to take this cunt off. He's done. Luckily for him, I've got a guy that actually really does need to come off. Ezekiel, he's stuffed. We're going to bring on for his first game, Adam Armstrong. I'm also going to take off Suzuko and bring on Bynoutum. Hopefully he's going to be good as well. And then, I'll probably bring on Tilly Mans or someone else. The defense is doing a good job. Mangala's getting tired, but he's been great. Good run. Oh my god, they're really going for it. They absolutely are going for it. Look at Yan Matt try to run away. Please keep it in at least. He's getting caught. I'm going to have to cross this. Mitrovic. No, fucking Mitrovic, man. Are you kidding me? At least we have a corner. Where is he? Where is the big man? I want to deliver it to him. Straight on his noggin. Oh my god, they're giving him the space. And look at the defender. Look at this. Why did it switch? Why the fuck would it switch players? So much for having air balls off if that's what's going to fucking happen from a corner. Are you mental? He was the perfect guy and we set it up so well for him and you switch to some fucking midget running into the box. You, you're just so fucking shit. You shit game. What a cross. And it's, oh, it's offside, thank fuck. I had a suspicion, I was like, surely. We let Yan Mat go on a bit of a run, and there was no one covering the right back position at all, because it was gone. And, uh, yeah, they whipped in the cross, and I'm like, well, we're fucking done. Good play, this is all right. Armstrong, send him away. Tovan, yes. That was not very well sent through for a through ball. Fuck it, and Armstrong got caught. We should have sent him away way better than we did there. Unbelievable, bounce over, he didn't. It's a bad touch. Call back. Bon Adam, stay on side. Why are you running backward? Oh, please don't tell me. I swear he wasn't offside and he was running backward. This whole fucking game, and he's just trying to make sure I do not score. Kyle back, he'll lose a header. Didn't even get anywhere near it, to be fair. Way too far ahead. And now they've got the final chance. We're about to go in extra time. That is if they don't score. Are you? Sanchez, big whip in. There's a foul in there out of nowhere. Great, fucking awesome. And after 180 minutes in this fucking fixture, Aston Villa versus Newcastle. No goal scored. We're going to go to extra time and try to sort it out in another 30. I doubt we fucking will because the whole team today has been awful. And even though Toban is tired and even though fucking Yan Matt is tired, I'm not making a sub I'm not making a right mid or a right back substitute. No. He's got to fucking come off callback. I don't think he completed a pass. It feels like yeah. Yes, yes, big, huge, look at this. Oh my god, a big chance. Adam Armstrong to do it! It's in the post, it's come back in! Adam Armstrong's made a curl back, and on his Newcastle debut, in his first game in the career mode, Adam Armstrong comes up in extra time. Have a look at this, we've got Aaron switching the play. Look at that mistake. Huge by, is that Jordan Amavi? Left Armstrong in the space, and he struck it beautifully. Couldn't get a goal through Mitrovic, but we'll get it through Armstrong. That's a big one in the 100th minute. That would be about 190 minutes worth of this fixture, this FA Cup tie. Finally, we have a goal. And if we're not careful, you never know. They might get another one back. Mitrovic over the top. It's a good ball. Take a touchdown. Well, oh, Clark's just helped out Armstrong. You're kidding me. He might have done it. 
No, he hasn't. He's been tugging the shirt there. He's gone down for the shot. He's holding him back from going through. Surely a penalty. He went down for it, even though it was part of the shot animation. But son of a bitch. Tilly Man somehow loses the header or gives it away to Nzongbia. They won't get the chance. All right, we're in front. Aaron's waiting for someone to throw to. He's got to wait for Mitrovic to come up. My goodness me. The man that we're trying to cross to, he's on it now. Mitrovic, surely you've got to hold him up. What touch was that? How do you make it go behind you like that, Mitrovic? You're that fucking special. Yes. Yes. Yes, Mitrovic. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Little fake shot to go around. Nice and easy. Finish this. Mitrovic has scored for Newcastle. You're kidding me. Finally, it's 2-0. We've, we've shorted up. I just can't believe that Newcastle... Can't believe that Mitrovic has scored. It's amazing. Look at this. Everyone's getting around him. He was nearly offside, by the way. I took the fake shot. I wasn't going to shoot from there. There wasn't a high chance of it going in. Had to open up the space. Nearly got closed down. But he's taken the shot off. It went through the legs. We needed the luck. It's gone through the legs. Maybe taking a bit of a deflection. Hit the roof of the net. And we've scored and put it beyond all doubt. We're just going to see this game out now. Hopefully keep the clean sheet. You never know. Maybe get a third if possible. Toban gets absolutely taken out. My goodness. Have a look at that flip. Could we get a third? They've got everyone back, so something tells me probably not. But anyway, let's whip in a cross and hope for the best. You never know. It could get even better. What cross was that? God knows. We'll get it again. Please don't be injured. Don't fucking be injured. No way. Oh, my God. The crosses are awful. That's okay. It's a 2-0 win. We've done it. Oh, we're still going on in the FA Cup. This might see us through to the quarterfinals. I'm not sure exactly. Maybe round to 16, but either way, we're through. Finally, after two rounds of this, we've beaten Aston Villa in the FA Cup. Yes, it's the quarterfinals that we're through to now, and we're through with Chelsea, QPR, e, uh, Norwich, I think, as well, and Manchester City. Let's see who else. Hull City, Swansea City, and Manchester United. So we are in a quarterfinal of an FA Cup. I don't know how we got or when we got knocked out in the Capital One. I don't think we got as far as, a qu as the quarterfinals. Maybe we made it to the quarterfinals, but we didn't get much further than that. So we're making some progress in the cup tournaments. That's great. And we're only two points away from cracking in the top four. That's huge. And like I said, because it's a slightly, uh, what am I trying to say? A slightly uh, not as long episode, a shorter episode. Can't believe I forgot the word shorter there for a second. But anyway, yeah, we're going to be simulating this final game against Bournemouth. And again, it's at home. But look at Bournemouth. They've drawn one and one. I mean, that's mental. They've scored one goal each time. But Hopefully, uh, we'll at least score two, and that could be enough. You never know. Let's get it through. I'm sure a lot of the players are absolutely stuffed, but surely at home to Bournemouth. 5-0. It's a pumping. Unbelievable result. One out of two, Ezekiel with one, and Mitrovic with two. He's got the goal-scoring touch now. After the players were completely wrecked, stuffed, I would have surely thought, okay, we're not going to go and win a game by five goals. But no, we go and win a game by five goals. Unbelievable. We're now going to do more drills, of course. Still with Aaron, still with Ezekiel. I'm probably going to swap them up next episode. But um, yeah, we didn't get the satisfaction of seeing uh, Ezekiel go up from 75 to 76. He sort of just miraculously went up as time went on. Aaron's has gone up by a bit, and both Ezekiel has gone up by a bit. And it looks like, as I can see there, that um, it's gone now. But we are going to be playing... Uh, Manchester City in the FA Cup quarterfinals. And it looks like we're getting a big, big break until it happens too, which is sensational. But then, more than likely, we have a whole bunch of games clogged up together. Let's take a look at the fixture. Yeah, that's what I thought. We've got the game. We have a week-long break, which is great. But then we have Manchester City, Stoke City three days later, and then three days later, the time we're derby. Are you mental? So we're only playing one of the biggest games of the season like, it's our third game in six days. I mean, mental. Then, thankfully, we get a much, much needed week and a half long break till we play Leicester again. Crazy stuff. We're going to be playing Manchester City again. This is absolutely the game that we are going to play first. Not simulating an away game against Man City. We've already had a great result against them. Hopefully, we can go back to back. It would be sensational. But until that episode, guys, my name's Mars Bucks. Thank you so much for watching another Newcastle career mode episode. We'll probably go back to normal with the three games played and the one or two simulated in the next episode. But until then, guys, my name's Mars Bucks. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. Have a good one. Bye-bye.